rage, rage, fucking rage. Today we're going to be talking about my top 10 most hated songs of all fucking time. We've been very nice recently. We've been doing loads of rankings, praising every single album. Some people say I'm too happy. Some people say I just like everything. Well, here's where you're fucking wrong, chum. We're going to be shitting on some songs, shitting on some bands, and it's going to be fun. So before I go nuclear, I want you guys to pop down below what's your most hated songs of all time. What songs make your blood boil, make you just want to pull your eyes out and just throw them at your fucking enemy. What, what songs make you do that? I want your lists down below, top 10 most hated songs, the ones that come into your head straight away, that you go, fucking hell, this is shit. And, you know, without babbling any longer, let's get in with the shit pile that is my top 10 most hated songs of all fucking time. So number 10, probably the most controversial on this list. Um, I will preface this by saying not all of this is metal. This is just songs in general. Songs that fucking irk me. Um, and the number 10 is Disturbed, The Sound of Silence. Yes, that's right, loads of people fucking love this one. This is the song that made Disturbed bigger than they were already. Um, now, I like all of Disturbed songs, even Dropping Plates. Dropping plates on your ass, bitch. Plates on your ass. It's so fucking stupid. It's kind of fun. But, Sound of Silence is not fun. It's fucking awful. I love the Simon and Garfunkel version. The original is amazing. But the Disturbed version? Like, what have they added to it? They haven't added fucking anything to it. It's a song which is a waste of space. This is why it's on this list. It's not as offensively bad as some of the others I'm going to mention. But it's a waste of fucking space. Um, it doesn't do anything over the original. It doesn't do anything better over the original. So it's just kind of fucking there. He kind of does this like melodramatic singing. The sound of silence. Where you don't need that with the song. You, you don't fucking need it with the song. And I know Melon hates it as well. Um, yeah, I, I really do not like this song. Whenever I heard it, I was like, what the fuck is this? Why has this got over like 200 million views? Um, people fucking retarded? Are you guys fucking retarded? Let me know if you're fucking retarded down below. Because if you like this song, chances are you're fucking retarded. Now, of course, this is all subjective, this list. Actually, no, it isn't. It's objective because it's my channel. It's my list and you could stick it up your fucking ass. And when it's right up your fucking ass, like really fucking far up your ass, I hope it gives you hell. I hope it gives you hell. I hope it gives you hell. The old America rejects. I Hope It Gives You Hell is my next pick for most annoying fucking songs of all time. I fucking hate the verses on this. It's just so whiny and just mopey and moaning. I don't like pop punk at the best of times. And all American Rejects are one of the fucking worst. And this song, holy shit, what the fuck? This song is annoying as hell. The chorus, <laughs> it's on a cycle. It's on a fucking cycle. It's like, it's madness. It's bloody madness. Hope it gives you hell, hope it gives you hell, hope it gives you hell. I hate it. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Um, there's no redeeming qualities about this song. Um, not None at all. As soon as the chorus kicks in, I want to hang myself. Um, and then jack it off uh, at the same time. So at least I'm, you know, I'm dying with some, some kind of joy in me. So yeah, um, hope it gives you hell is hellish it's it's very hellish it's annoying as hell and i fucking hate it next up with the same kind of theme we have the offspring another one of those bands that's fucking shit i don't like this kind of genre in general and you know the song i'm going for pretty fly for a white guy i fucking hate this song whenever it comes on the radio because it comes on every single fucking day on the radio, which is annoying. Um, and then it has that obnoxious fucking chorus where it's like, give it to me, baby. Ah, ah, ah. I hate it. It's like a bird getting raped. It's a bird getting raped. I hate that sound. You go, go, go on Pornhub right now. Questy's advice for the day. Go on Pornhub, go on X Hamster, go on fucking UGS or you porn or any, any of the porn sites of your choice and watch any video. And no, no one goes, ah, they just don't. Go to a bird sanctuary. There's probably some live streams of some bird sanctuaries around there. Go on them. Listen to the birds. Sounds way more like the birds. and Sounds way more like a canary than it does a female. So I, I just hate it. I hate it. That chorus fucking sucks. 
The whole song is annoying. His voice is kind of like... He's been taking vocal lessons from Dave Mustaine. This song is shit. I fucking hate it. Keeping in with the pop punk hate train. Blink-182 is next. Always hate Blink-182. Don't like any of the songs. Um, but the one that always did me in whenever I listened to it and people were like, people were jamming and they were like bopping and they're like, yeah, man, this is weird, really cool, man, this is really cool. I'm like, they look like fucking jackasses. I hate the look of them. And I hate the song even more. Um, we're going to go with all the small things. It, oh, I fucking hate it. Fucking hate it. Music video sucks as well. I, I, this one's like a pure hatred. This was my number one most hated song. For a long, long time until some others knocked it off the throne. Yeah, I don't understand this. I know... <laughs> I'm sure Metal Trench is if you're watching this. You, you, I think you like all this pop-punk nonsense. Um, I didn't grow... I mean, I grew up around it. But I was listening to Iron Maiden, <laughs> Metallica, when everyone else was listening to pop-punk. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So I got that kind of fucking elitist mindset going on with the metal shit. Um, but yeah, Pop Punk doesn't do anything for me, and Blink-22 is one of the worst offenders, and I hate them, and yeah, making it onto this list. Next up, some metal, whoa, psychosexual, with let the sin begin, wiping my calm off your chin, sin, 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 I don't remember the actual uh, melody, but it's awful, the lyrics are terrible, cringy. Um, Devil Daddy. I mean, do I need to say any more? It's Devil Daddy. Jeremy Spencer from Five Finger Death Punch. Or <laughs> making his own band. Um, they've kind of wiped the music off the face of the internet. That shows you how bad it is. You can't fucking find it anymore. And they've kind of renamed themselves because Psychosexual is just a bit weird. And now it's Psycho Sinner. Still not as good. Um, I'm going to say, uh, it's Devil Daddy singing about wiping cum off your chin. Um, let the sin begin, he's gonna spank you, he's your devil daddy, yeah, <laughs> fuck this band, fuck this song, fuck this fucking noise. Next up we have, you were still behold, you were, you were still behold, you were still behold, you were, you were still behold. It's a uh, Nicki Minaj with Stupid Ho. I don't mind Nicki Minaj, a lot of the songs are kind of funny in like a stupid way. Um, this one's just annoying, this one is just annoying. Um, especially the, with the like, sirens going off, and it's like, what? And then, <laughs> um, you you know if you've heard Stephen Ho, you know what's going on. And she has her weird raps, like she just sings so strangely. Um, I do enjoy it, but on this song, it just doesn't work. All I can say is this: this song sucks. Next up, we have some Broken Side. Didn't think I'd forget Broken Side. Now, did you? This crunk core, crunk core. Band it is is um terrible. It's like a mixture of like hip hop meets screamo, and it just does not blend well together. You got like the the fun party beats. Uh, <laughs> the guys like yo yo drinking women sex yeah money money, and then you got the the long haired dude next to him just screaming randomly during the songs, and it doesn't make fucking sense. And they're just like let's get freaky now, let's get fucking freaky now. Fuck yeah! And it's like, what? That doesn't even fit with the context of the song. He's just screaming at people. It's an amazing video. I suggest you go check it out, Broken Side Freaks, because it's very entertaining. Um, but the screams just don't fit. Screamo and this hip hop, whatever the fuck style, it just doesn't mesh together well. Uh, it's funny, it's probably the song on this entire list that I'd re-listen to because it's really fucking stupid. Um, but that doesn't excuse it from being awful and from making it onto this list. Freaks by Broken Side. Let's get freaky now, let's get fucking freaky now. Fuck yeah! So from a funny kind of crunkcore sound to um, just plain cringe. Blood on the Dance Floor, Bewitched. Yeah, this music video is something else. Um, I don't know what to think about it, to be honest. Um, I tried playing this to Jamie Horsley, he turned it off straight away. <laughs> I know the melody, which is surprising, but it, it it's it's very cringy. You got them dressed up in like their emo gear, all the makeup and everything, which I don't have a problem with if the song's good. Song isn't good because he's singing in that whiny voice. Why are they, all these bands singing in this fucking whiny voice? It's like 
little witch. Oh, you're mine. Oh, you're bewitched. Oh, I make you mine. It sounds like that, and I don't want to listen to that for five minutes. I really don't. Can't they sing properly? Um, the, another guy comes in and sings properly on the song, but by then, I've already turned it off, to be honest. Like, you can't... <laughs> You, you, you can't start a song like that. It's so fucking dreamlike. This song is like an emo fucked a unicorn in the ass and then it just shat out fucking rainbow shit. Rainbow diarrhea. That's what this song is. It's colourful. Um, it's dreamlike. But it's still shit. Top two now. My number two most hated song and probably... Probably my number one because we're going to cheat on number one. Is... I got a feeling... That tonight's gonna be a good night. This song fucking sucks. This song is fucking verbal diarrhea. I hate this song. I thought it was really cringy and bad from just the first verse, but then they got into the whole Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what are you doing? Why are you just naming stuff? Stop naming the fucking weeks. I thought Rebecca Black's Friday was bad. This is fucking worse. At least she just goes, Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. This one, do they just go through fucking every day? They go through fucking every day. Can they, can they just fuck off? Can they fuck off? I know most people put my humps on this list. My lovely lady lumps, but that's bad as well. But this is worse. This is way more annoying because they keep saying the fucking days. And tonight, we're gonna have a good night. Party every day, hey, 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 party every day. The lyrics are trash. The lyrics are fucking awful. Um, it's like a, it's like a fucking school kid wanted. No, it's a school kid would make a better song than this. So it's not. I can't even make that insult. A school kid actually fucking learns stuff in class. They're probably going to English class, English lit or whatever, and they can make a way better song than this with way more fucking words than just drink up, muzzle tough or what. Who, who the fuck? This is like that scene in South Park where they show like, I don't know, I can't remember if it's an octopus or like some kind of sea life who just picks random things to make the episode of Family Guy. That's like this. I hate this song. I, I want to kill myself. So here it comes. My number one most hated song of all fucking time. It is cheating. I'm going to put every single... This is going to piss everyone off. Oh boy. Some, some people are going to agree with me. And pop down if you do. Some people are not, which is fair enough. But you're wrong. Every single Christmas song is my number one most hated songs of all time. Yeah, I know. This, this is this is a kind of a cheap pick. I'm sure some Christmas songs aren't as bad as others, but I'm putting them all here because when it gets to December time, the radio goes on and it's non-stop Christmas songs every fucking day until it ends, and sometimes even into January. And I'm just like. Shut the fuck up. Holy shit, I get so annoyed with Christmas songs. I, I hate, it makes me hate Christmas, you know? It makes me hate Christmas. The amount of times I have to hear the fucking Pogues. I don't want to fucking hear the Pogues ever again. Or Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle All The Way. Stick up your ass. This, oh, fucking feed the world. No, don't feed the world. Don't, don't feed the world. I don't want to hear that ever again. I know it's for a good cause, and I salute the cause, but also, fuck off. I don't want to hear it ever again. I'd rather just give you the money. I'd rather just fly over. I'd rather spend a fucking ticket to Africa, fly over and give the fucking poor my food, and my clothes, and my money, than listen to this fucking song ever again. Yeah? Fuck Christmas songs. Overplayed. Annoying as hell. I fucking hate them. Now, that hopefully you didn't uh, get triggered, and if you did, that's your fault. So let me know down below what's your favourite Christmas, not favourite Christmas songs, no questy, do not ask that, sorry. Let me know down below what's your most hated songs of all time, what songs make your blood boil, and did you have fun with this video? Because it's all in the name of fun. You know, hate's a strong word, um, but Christmas songs can fuck off. So let me know down below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal!